Hello everyone, and here with another Bonacle review for Throwback Thursday, and today's of which is on the on four of the Toa Mari sets from 2007. So, start off with the booklets, which we have two entries for, and on the backs of which is uh, for all the Toa Mari, yeah, kind of like they did with the Toa Nika, of course. But after my little club and job at home, and went on the online survey. After all the Baraki and the pieces included with each set, and uh, shoot the Kordak blaster. But also to note is that the large part of the Kordak blaster is in the picture. It's like pure light gray, but on all the sets, it's dark gray. But if anyone knows why it's like that, tell in the comments. It has others of it. Same thing. But no laugh for the Baraki in this one, and also how to shoot it. So first of which, uh, for the flagship character of the Mari, is Holly. Oh, wait. Somewhat simplistic build, of course. And the legs of which simplistic of Inaika builds, but also if um, compared to Toa Inaika Holly, where it was comprised of blue and white, but this is blue and lime green. My good guess is for the underwater seaweed or something. But also, first time having these in all dark blue, of course. And the body, which comprised of a Paraka body. And, and as the arms, also simplistic of Inaika's, but also with those colors, and has what's called the Pro Steel Talons, but held at the tip top part of the hand piece, would, or you can always have it held that way if you wanted to as well. And as for the other hand, of which holds the what everyone has, the Kordak Blaster. And well, and you can kind of hold it like a, the Xamarin Sphere launchers and has a ball joint on it. Push it in. And so, quite fun to shoot out, of course. But, and as with each Tomari, you can like has a few extra Korak bullets on the backs. But as you see, there's another Metro waste on there because it is for this. Which folds out the wing or fins, of course. Those which are quite useful and nice for mocking, like as wings and such. Although some people say Holly's the tallest, but because of these, but you can't count that, it have to be at like head level. But as for Holly's, of which has quite a lot of attachments added to it like a Baraki eye on top as a light, and also you may think it, and these of which were the first ones to use these tube pieces, as with her and Kongu, do look like they have one, have two tubes, but it's one just wrapped around, and see it's a three long rod holding both together. And also with each of these, like Toa Mari is they all have uh, metro heads, but most of the times had just the trans orange ones. But only Kongu's, of which introduced an all new kind of one. But as for Holly and a couple others in this review, is first to use the this like visor that goes over it, which does also carry on to the Fantoka Mystica lines, of course. And I think that is it for Holly. And now on to Duperu, which also like that. And he was kind of a hybrid of like uh, both Paraka and Anika uh, parts, as, as both his arms and legs are comprised of uh, Paraka arms and also have the black Paraka feet. but. First time of them in in black. 
and also he which had it the exclusive armor piece that can go opposite ways which did carry on with Toa Ignaika the following year of course and the body piece just the same as Toa and Nika New Peru and one hand does have the Korak Blaster of course and the other has Shield Lord. Although I suggest they could have kept the claws to it, which the Nika version also did. And of course the shield can split apart and can use for various mocking mocks, of course. And for the back it does have the, like a Toa Metru uh, armor piece with a couple of system cylinders. And of course representing his oxygen tanks, of course. And of course, this what is what probably got inspiration for Tarix in the Glatorian line, and for all of the Glatorian line actually, and for his mask of with, which they used reused the following year on Mazika, of course. It has this a little thing to it which I'm not sure is about, and one side does fit a tube the tube in two in of course. Then next to which is the captain of the guard, Jaller. And his builds of which quite about the same as or similar to Toa and Nika Jollers. But just without the translucent pieces of course. Whoops. Anyways. And you may notice why is the lower piece in grey rather than black? Well, I kind of lost it and replaced it with that. But although I, but don't worry, I can use Brick Link to replace that to later on. And also, it does have this armor piece that is also Matoro's uh, shoulder piece. And as for the chest plate, which is also used for the Hana crab, and which holds two tubes, and he's the only one that uses two tubes. And as and the mask of which, a little interesting, that looks just about like the torso. And the arms of which also use this kind of the same builds. And also he of which first to use this big long sword piece. So of course. And from the back. Nothing so much, and you can see the tubes going through. But as for the little uh, pet-like creature, the Hana Crab, he has the same exact kind of piece that was used for the chest, and with, but with a few pieces added to it, like the Baraki eye pieces, and also the Toa Mata Onua claws on there. And you probably wonder, that this little, little piece there, that was a modification that only I did, because I saw one other person on YouTube do that, but to help keep the legs stayed in place, of course, and held onto the chain, and also can like carry around. But also in the like mini video, he can like put it, carry it on his back, which can't do that with this unless if you had an long pin to do that. And uh, yeah, I think that is it with Dollar. Also the Haunted Crab can like, completely fall off the course. And now lastly, the quite important Maltoro. And of course, this was one of the last appearances of Matoro. And whereas the build is kind of similar to that of Toa and Nika Matoro, but instead it's sky blue rather than translucent blue, and the armor is opposite, of course, and his feet are Toa Mata feet, as the twin blade cutters, which they reused with a lot of other sets and has but also has cool new armor shoulder armor and the mask of reanimation which is just about similar to that of a Duperu's where it's all silver and has a visor in it and the uh, forearms uneven 
just about like uh, Baraki Mantax and the, also all the Paraka, of course. Also, the unique thing with the Tauros is it does have two black tubes, but that lead to the hand with the Korak Blaster in it. My good guess is probably to help strengthen the arm a little more. Well, until... And of course, the important thing with Motoro Mari is when he was teleported to Cardi Nui and then put the Mask of Life on him and then had made the great sacrifice for the great spirit of Matanui. And let me get them all on screen. But also, what I do also do with Jawler is just attach the little pin to the other side of the handpiece so it's easy to carry around, of course. So, so the final verdict. Overall, these I think uh, quite cool sets of 2007. Even since they were the summer wave, of course. Like, it's um, like all new pieces for mock making, obviously. And also, he's also good of having um, a Toro in it since he was the key part in the storyline, obviously. And also, at really, least. Some bit of freshness added to some of them, like for Holly and whatnot. Uh, like using fin wing fins or whatever. And also, and yeah. And of course, Kongu did have an all new uh, body piece used for him. And so. In conclusion, so if you still have these sets from back then, well, I hope you had some good memories of them. And for those of you who haven't and still have access to these, then I'd say truly go ahead and get them. Like eBay, Bricklink, whatever. And that's about it with this video. And thanks for watching and please subscribe.